Now, one in every 33 babies in the U.S. is born with some kind of birth defect. In January is National Birth Defect Prevention Month, a national effort to decrease the number of babies born with these life-changing and even sometimes deadly conditions. Without further ado, we'd like to bring you Dr. Leanne Haddock with Baylor Scott & White here to share some great advice on what expected parents can do to prevent them. And it's always a pleasure having you, Doctor. Thank you so nice much for joining Thank us. You. So before we get into that prevention, let's talk about some of the uh, more common birth defects. Sure. Well, well, first of all, birth defects are structural defects that are fine, sometimes found on an, on an ultrasound during prenatal care or at birth, okay? And they can happen anywhere in the body. The most common birth defects are congenital heart defects, mm. uh, cleft lip and palate, and then what's called spina bifida, which is the open spine. And there are plenty more. Mm -hmm. And the severity depends on how large they are, how many there are, and then unfortunately, if they're associated with chromosomal abnormalities, they even can be lethal. Mm -hmm. But any birth defect can have issues that you need to deal with for the child, sometimes for the rest of their life. All right, so let's talk, let's talk about prevention, especially okay. dealing with the more deadly ones, if that's even possible. Sure. Well, in prevention, there, you know, birth defects can be sporadic. So there's some areas that we just don't, we are not going to be able to prevent. But there are some ways because there are environmental issues and other issues that can affect the pregnancy. Mm -hmm. So the most important thing I tell my patients is this. The first three months of the pregnancy are the most important. That's when baby's making all its body parts. So if an insult or something occurs then, that's where a birth defect can occur. So I say four things. Be as healthy as you can. Uh, things like obesity and diabetes can cause birth defects. The second thing is before you get pregnant, start a prenatal vitamin that has mm -hmm. 400 micrograms of folic acid. This has been shown to help prevent spinal, uh, uh, spina bifida, mm -hmm. the neural tube defects. The third thing is if you are on a medication, please talk with your doctor before you get pregnant because sometimes some medications are not safe with pregnancy and can put a baby at risk for birth defects. Definitely. And the last thing I'm going to say the obvious, alcohol, tobacco, illicit <laughs> drug use, just don't. It it, it's just, it's not, those can be at risk too. Well, sometimes we hear people saying, well, you know, I didn't even know I was pregnant. Absolutely. I wasn't even expecting this. And so, I mean, let's say someone was drinking a month in. I mean, I mean, what do you tell them now? Is there any way to say, hey, you can still recover? What, what well, do you, say you know, it's hard. Like yeah. it, it's hard. I mean, it depends. Everything's in, 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 in what, how much yes. and how often. And so that's the way I look at it, too. So you have to evaluate everything case by case. You know, usually by the first ultrasound, we can start to see some basic things mm -hmm. to make sure that baby is okay. And I still know that doesn't keep all parents right. not from panicking. Right, right, right. But we evaluate through the pregnancy for anatomical birth defects mm -hmm. and even towards the end, too. So I think if you, it, it, there are people, of course, that that happens too. Sometimes we know that. It, yeah. We know that. I think uh, the best thing to do with pregnancy is best you can to be prepared for mm -hmm. it. I think be you're going to give the best opportunity to prevent or decrease the number of birth defects we see. So if you're not practicing safe sex, yeah, you need to be a little more <laughs> okay, careful there you for go. sure there. That's, that's true okay, too. Okay, okay. And that's just maybe any last words for maybe any parents who might have a baby with birth defects. Well, going through right now. again, it's, it's, it depends on what it is. If there are, uh, there's minor birth defects that have really no issues for the baby for their life, there are major birth defects, such as heart defects. Mm -hmm. And what is so nice in this day and age is we have phenomenal pediatric surgeons. There's some incredible surgeries that can be done to help this child live Live as normal and healthy life as possible. And that's what's nice. It's been developed in medical science. So. Excellent. That's why we have doctors like you. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Thank doctor. You. We appreciate it's nice you. To see you. Thank Dr. you. Dr. Leanne Haddock with you. Baylor Scott and White. Appreciate you. Thank you.